Welcome to the Sweets Post Game presented by Cascade Natural Gas. The Sweets fall in a heartbreaker tonight, one nothing. The final to Corvallis. Sweets give one of the best fights of the season to Corvallis, and today's outcome just fall just a little bit short. But I'm joined alongside our high efficiency player of the game and Colby Solomon. Great outing for you tonight. Go the longest you went. Also going a start in a starting role, the first time this season with the Sweets. Talk about that going back uh, to a starting spot. Oh, dude, it feels so great. It's been a really long time since I've been able to do this again, so getting out there, getting the start today, it felt fantastic. It probably felt fantastic. It probably felt even better to be as good as you were. No earn runs, believe, four innings and six strikeouts was a great outing for yourself, and not only season highs, but in a big spot against the best team in the West Coast League. Oh, dude, I, I was just doing my thing. I was letting my defense play behind me. Uh, it was great getting called by Kai tonight. That was fantastic. But, yeah, no, it felt felt great. I'm f starting to feel myself again. That's what it definitely seems like. Seems very. It seems like you're getting a whole lot more comfortable. And even going typically this year, you came in in a late relief, middle relief type role, sometimes even a closer. Came in a couple spots where you got in a little bit of trouble. Had the bases loaded at one time, knocked things right out. Came in one out bases loaded shut things down the rest of the inning talk about that just that calm that calmness that you've kind of developed in the later relief type of role uh the confidence was that like if this was me at the beginning of the year I would be super unsettled all that stuff but I don't know having knowing the guys that are playing behind me having a great catcher I just tell myself just to settle down a little bit you have the game under control this is just now just go prove it and in a game like this versus Corvallis, you know, Corvallis, they come in, one of the best teams in the West Coast League. They've been one of the best summer ball teams for really ever at this point. A difficult team coming in. You knew that based on the last two games. You come in, and with the past 24 hours for the Sweets, it's obviously been really crazy. I think that's fair to say. Lineup kind of pieced together. You get the star, and you knew that going into the weekend, but... You see it all kind of come together, and the team fights behind you as well as fights behind themselves. Uh, those first two games, I just flushed it. I was just thought to myself, hey, this is a brand-new team. Let's see what they can do. Um, yeah, no, there was no intimidation factor in that. And then the fight that the guys put on while you were in and then when the rest of the guys were in, this is a team that not only different in mindset, kind of completely different. You had Leo in right field, Kevin and expected to be one of your catchers at Gonzaga. He's in left field. Talk a little bit about that, this kind of lineup pieced and puzzled together in a weird spot. You put up one of the best fights Corey Valles has seen this year. Oh, I, I love it. I mean, yeah, we're scrapping for players right now, but, dude, as long as we got a good nine behind us, I'm feeling comfortable with whatever we put out there. Um, yeah, no, never a doubt in the outfield from those two. Never a doubt with Leo Rivera and Kevin Spear in the outfield tonight. Didn't have to do much, but they took care of business when they had to. Sweets do fall one nothing in the contest, but was a fantastic outing for the man standing right next to me. He, Colby Solomon, is our high-efficiency player of the game. This has been Sweets Post Game presented by Cascade Natural Gas.